Hello, 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 De Uno, and welcome to my channel. The name of my channel is Igbo Academy, and my name is Choma. Today, we are going to talk about 40 Igbo phrases. 40 Igbo phrases from Chimamanda to chase half of the yellow sun. If you have not read that book and you want to learn Igbo, you want to learn how to speak Igbo, what are you waiting for? You should know our culture, you should know where we are coming from. You should know our plight whenever we complain that something is failing us somewhere, know where it's coming from. Please, if you have not read Tim Amanda, the chase of the yellow soul, please come to soul. So today I'm going to talk about, I'm going to tell you the meaning of 40 phrases, 40 ego phrases from her book. There are some ego phrases here that people that don't, learn, that don't know how to speak ego, they get confused whenever they are reading this book. So I just want to come and make 40, tell you what those phrases mean. It's, they are going to be 40, 20 from the first chapter and 20 from the second chapter. So if you still want me to make more of the phrases from the third, fourth to the end of the chapters, I will make them. Just tell me below and I will complete and make more. But for the first two chapters, these are 40 equal phrases. I'm going to translate them in English and tell you what they mean in English. These are the 40 ego phrases. Number one, okay, Chimamanda, the Chida girl has stories, oh, she has, oh, I'll call, I'll call the anon. She has stories, she has a story to tell, she told a very good story. She told a, a story of an ego girl that you can relate to. When she talked about living in the in the university campus, in the university quarters. My father was a lecturer. I lived in the quarters, so I know what it is like. When she talked about living in the north, going to the north, traveling to the north, although it wasn't during her own time, but I can still relate because I traveled to the north too. My parents are staying in the north, in the northern part of Nigeria. We are staying in Jos. And when she talked about the war, I wasn't around during that time, I wasn't born there, but there was just crisis during my own time, and I know what it was like for the northerners to be killing the eagles. I know what it was like. So, read that book, you have a clue of what she's talking about. Some people don't read it because they don't hear it, because there are some phrases she, she said she wrote an eagle. Some people don't read it because they don't understand Igbo. So now I'm going to say, tell you the meaning of such phrases. 20 of them from the first chapter and 20 of them from the second chapter. And she talked about, you should read that book, read it, read it. If you are coming to this my class and say you want to learn how to speak Igbo, you want to learn how to write Igbo, you should read that book too because she talks about us, the Igbo people. Just like Timamandi, uh, what's his name? Chenwa Achebe, Chenwa his books, especially things for the part. You know more about, I'm going to talk about that one too later, but now let's just talk about Amanda teaches half of the yellow sun. Number one, the number one evil phrase there is Ossi so si so, Ossi so si so. Ossi so si so means fast, fast. Ossi so is fast. Ossi so is fast. So ossi so, ossi so, fast, fast. So when a, one auntie was taking a boy to see his master, to serve his master, she told him, ossi so si so, we have to go. Ossi so si so, fast, fast. So ossi so si so is fast, fast. When you want to tell somebody, Please hurry up. Be fast. You see? Ossi so si so. Ossi so si so. Ossi so ossi so. Number two, we have. I botago. I botago ya. I botago ya. I botago. I botago means have you brought him? Have you brought him or her? I botago ya. You know ya is a pronoun. So it, it, it's not gender-based, it can be he or her. So, what I means, 
have you brought him or her? When the master was asking the auntie, Otagoya, have you brought him? Number three, we have Keda Fage. Keda Fage. Remember, that was like one of the first things I thought on this my channel. Keda Fage, what is your name? Keda Fage, what is your name? And what will you respond? Tell me, what is your name? Keda Fage. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I hope you said something. Afambo. Afambo Choma. My name is Choma. Keda Fage. Afambo Choma. So Keda Fage here means what is your name? The master was asking the boy, Keda Fage. Keda Fage. What is your name? And he said, My name is Ugu. Ugu. So Keda Fage. Number four, we have Umbwa. Umbwa. Ngwa means now. Ngwa means now. Ngwa, go to the kitchen. The master told the boy, Ngwa, go to the kitchen and get something to eat or something like that. Ngwa, go to the kitchen. Ngwa means now. Ngwa, go to the kitchen. Ngwa, go to your mother. Now, go to your mother. Maybe you say stubborn child that you play in and you'll be like, Ngwa, go to your mother. It means now. Ngwa means now. Then number five, you have Inugo is a question. Inugo, Inugo means have you heard? Have you heard? Inugo means have you heard? Number six, you have Ezago. Ezago. Ezago means king of the lions or king of the leopard. King of the lion. Or the new part, Ezago. No, it's one of the pet names for men. So if you've not watched my 70 pet romantic names for men, phrase names for men, please watch it. Number seven, we have Nanya. Nanya, Nanya means look here. Nanya, look here. Ne is look. Anya eyes. Nanya, look here. Number eight, you have Apu. Apu is cassava. We are going to tell this to food items. Cassava. Apu, cassava. So go through all my videos. Just if you if you go through all my videos, the beginners and the intermediate less lessons, you should not have a problem reading any Igbo book. Any English book that has some Igbo words in it. Then number nine, okay, number eight, cassava is called apple. Okay, apple is called cassava. Apple is called cassava. Number nine, you have umuna. Umuna. Umuna is your kindred. Umuna. Kindred. That's those people that are related to you, to your, to your father. People that are related to your father. His uncles, his grandfather, his brothers, all of them are your kindred. That's Umunna. Number 10, we are still in the chapter 1, the 20 phrases from chapter 1. Number 10, we have Ugu leaves. Ugu leaves. And we have treated Ugu. Ugu is pumpkin leaves. Ugu leaves is pumpkin leaf. Pumpkin. In our food items, you have seen Ugu, Ugu leaves. You have seen apple too. That's the food that we eat. Number 10, ogo leaves is pumpkin leaves. Number 11, the ube tree. The ube tree. Ube is pear. You have also seen the food items. Ube, you know, we have our own local. It's not avocado. We have our own black pear, our own local pear. It is called ube. And ube is pear. Number 12 is Nzogu nzogu ehimba e nzogu ehimba nzogu nzogu ehimba e nzogu ehimba nzogu nzogu ehimba. I have the song book for it. It is here on my channel. Just see all the words. Nzogu nzogu ehimba is a war song. It's a war song. When <laughs> when you're doing it, ask Ugu to sing something. It's certain nzogu. It is a war song in Igbo land. 
It means nzogu nzogu is to to match to match to match match elephant community elephant. Okay, <laughs> he just he just denoted that you are an elephant. You are very big, so you should match like match your enemies, match them, match them. He's telling any any you're an elephant. You're very big. You are an elephant community. You are an elephant tribe. He's trying to push the morale of the people that are going to fight. That's that's a song that you sing to boost their morale, huh? so they will not be afraid. You make them feel as if they are elephants. They are very big. They are very strong, so they can match anybody and trample on them and win the war. So it's a song that I sang during war to or during. During wrestling, it is time for the wrestler to hype him, to make him feel as if he's very strong, as if he's an elephant, and as if he can kill his opponent, he can trample his opponent. So that's much, much elephant community or elephant tribe, elephant. That's what it means. So that's literally what it means. But it's a song that is used to hype wrestlers, or a song that is used to hype. Wrestlers are going for war, so they can feel that they are very big, and they can destroy anything. Number thirteen, you have Okuma. Okuma is sheer butter. Okuma, sheer butter. Sheer butter. The Yoruba call it Ogi. It is. You rub it on your skin. On your skin, it moisturizes your skin. It's just like. It's just like. It's just like Vaseline, as in it moisturizes the skin. That's Okuma. Number 14, we have Aribe. Aribe. Aribe is scent leaf. Scent leaf, Aribe. Scent leaf. There's a leaf that is used to cook. It's called scent leaf, and the name is Aribe. So Aribe is scent leaf. Okay, number 15. You have Afam Bojumo. Afam Bojumo. Remember when they ask you that again, you say Afam. What is your name? You say Afam Bo. So here he's saying his name is, my name is Jumo. Afam Bojumo. So number 16, you have Wokem. 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 Wokem means my man. Wokem means my man. Then number 17, number 17, you have Kedu, is a question, Kedu, Kedu, and Kedu means, how are you? How, Kedu means how, remember this in our interrogatives, we treated interrogatives in Igbo language, and Kedu is how, so in this, in this aspect it means, if someone asks you Kedu, Kedu, how are you? Kedo Kine. If someone asks you, Kedo Maka Mamagi, how is your mother? Kedo Maka Papagi, how is your father? Kedo Maka Wanegi, Kedo Maka Ahia, Kedo Maka Oro, how is sales? How is the market? How is the market? How is work? Kedo Maka Oro. So you should, you should be able to say things with Kedo very well by now. Okay, sorry, sorry. I know it. this maybe this is your first time, but. Go through all those videos. You should be able to speak Igbo very well by now. Then number number eighteen, we have Rakuba. Rakuba. Rakuba means leave it or don't worry. When you're doing something with somebody, the person will tell you Rakuba, Rakuba. Or when you someone so you're in a hurry, or when a guest comes to your house. And you're like hurrying, running around to get something. Person will be like, ah, but it means you should leave it or you should not worry. Just come and sit down. Rakuba, I have gist for you. Mama Kenna, Rakuba, I have gist for you. It means leave it all, don't worry. Then number 19, you have Inken. Inken. Inken means my own. I know we have seen it. In this channel, on this channel before, in Ken, the name you call your your partner, 
Your males, the pattern if you call males or females in Igbo language, Ikem means my own. Then, number 20, you have Lotakwa. Lotakwa. Lotakwa means remember. Lota means to remember. Lotakwa means remember. Remember. Lotakwa, remember. So, that will be all for the chapter. One, we, have, we already have 20 phrases. We have osi so, osi so means fast, fast. Botaya means, botagoya means are you brought in? Kedafagi means what is your name? Ngwa, 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 go to the kitchen. Ngwa, ngwa means now. Ngwa, go to the kitchen, now, go to the kitchen. Inugo means have you heard? Inugo, have you heard? Ezago means king of the lion or the leopard. Nanya means look here. Nanya, look here. Apu, cassava. Apu means cassava. Umona means kindred. Umona, kindred. Ugu means pumpkin leaves. Ugu means pumpkin leaves. Ube means the pear. Ube tree means pear tree. Nzobu Nzobu Ei Mba Ei is a war song or a wrestling song. Okuma means share butter. Okuma means share butter. Ayube means scent leaf. Ayube, scent leaf. Afam Bujumu, my name is Jumu. Afam Bujumu, my name is Jumu. Mwokin, my man. 16. Mwokin, my man. 17. Rakuba means leave it. Rakuba means leave it. Number eight, number nineteen. Mkem means my own. Mkem my own. The number twenty. Lotapa means remember. This is just really not to forget. Don't forget Lotapa. Remember, remember. So that will be the twenty. That will be all for the first chapter. So now we're going to go to the. We are going to explain the remaining 20 phrases from chapter 2. 20 phrases in Igbo language. We are going to explain, we are going to tell you what it means in chapter 2 of Chimamanda Atiche's Half of the Yellow Sun. So, number two, number two, the first, number one from the second chapter, we have Ijoma. Ijoma. Ijoma means safe journey. We'll see it from Ekenenan Dunigo on my channel. Look for greetings in Igbo language. Ekenenan Dunigo. You see, Ijeoma means safe journey. Number two, Chere. Once someone tells you Chere, it means wait. Chere means wait. Number three, Chimo. Or Chin, sorry, Chin. Chin means my God. Chin in Igbo language is God. In Igbo language, it is believed that everybody has a chi. Everybody has a chi that guides him, that follows him. Everybody has a God. That's why they give people. Most Igbo names are centered around this chi, chi, chi. Like my name now is Chioma. <laughs> Chioma. We tend to praise God by our names. Oma is good. And she is God. So Chioma, now you know what my name is. God is good. Chioma, God is good. Chi nyere. Chi is God. Nyere. Inye means to give. Chi nyere. God has given me. So, most Igbo names are centered around Chi Chi Chi. You can see Chi 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 most Igbo names. So Chi means my God. Chi my Chi is God. And mm, mm, is my so chin is my god number four we have biko biko means please biko means please number five we have ezioku 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 means true ezioku means true number six you have a for kwa a for kwa a for have you if is to see? So if means have you seen? If means 
have you seen? Number seven, you have azigo. Azigo means good. Azigo means good. Number eight, you have nne. Nne means mother or a woman. Nne. We use nne to refer to our mothers. Or anyone you have to call somebody's mother. In the, the English, you say mama or you say mother. Yes, mother or mama. Or in English, you say David's mom. David's mom or David's mother. But even now, you say nne David. Nne David. So, ne means mother or woman. Number nine, we have jo of man. Jo of man. J of man. J of man. J of man means go well. It's just like each your man. It is a greeting to someone that is traveling or someone that is going out. You say jo of man or you say each your man. They all mean the same thing. They mean go well. Number 10, we have Omalecha. Omalecha baby. Omalecha means beautiful. Omalecha means beautiful. So, if you're telling somebody you're yeah, Omalecha, go to my 40 pet names for women in Igbo language. Pet romantic names for women in Igbo language. You see that Omalecha means beautiful. When you tell a woman that she's beautiful, she's Omalecha. That's what it means. Beautiful. Number number eleven. You have Ndibani. Ndibani. Ndibani means my people. Ndibani means my people. My people. Ndibani. Number twelve. You have Onagakwa. Onagakwa. Onagakwa means is it going well? Is it going well? Onaga, onaga. Is it working or is it working? Is it working? Is it working? Onaga, onaga. Is it going well or is it working? When someone asks, when you're doing something, and someone asks you, is it is it working? Is it going well? Okay, I remember in the book when she was asking her her cousin, I think her cousin, about her learning how to sew. She actually was asking. All I was asking my cousin, on Agakwa, is it going well? And the cousin said yes or something. Good. Number 13, we have one name. One name. One name means my sibling. My sibling. There's a song in Hebrew language. Oh yeah, but one name. Why you? Why you? Ma, ma, why you? Oh yeah, but one name. Who is my sibling? Who is my brother? Or who is my sister? In Igbo language, you believe that anybody living around you is your brother or your sister. <laughs> I'm in Bayasa here. But if I'm an Igbo person, and the Bayasa person comes to talk to me, you say, What about your sister? I say, My sister is fine. I don't know the person's parents, I don't know the person's village, but because the person is an evil person, the person is one day. The person is my sibling, my brother or my sister. So that's one name for you. One name means my sibling. Then number 14, you have Adani. Adan in Igbo is first daughter. Adan is first daughter. So Adani is means our first daughter. Adani, our first daughter. Then number 15, we have Aramakagi. Aramakagi. Aramakagi means you look good. Or you look well. Once you see someone that you have not seen for a long time in Igbo, you'll be like, Hey, Choma, no. Arama, Kagi. It means you look good. This person doesn't look good. You say, Aranayagi, uh, ask the person, are you, are you, are you, are you sick? Arayagi. When the person is looking proper, shiny, you say, Arama, Kagi. means you look good. Then, number 16, you have Imakwa. Imakwa. Do you know? A makwa. Do you know? A makwa. The number 17 you have Odiebu. With an exclamation. Odiebu. That's all I'm telling you. Yours, it means indeed. Odiebu means indeed. 
So I'll just be telling you stories. Just be lying to you. And you know all the truth. Person will be lying, lying, lying. You'll be like, oh, the oh, the indeed. In this context, uh, what's that name? I don't know. Her, her niece, all her nurses were telling her about an indomitable woman that is only stuck feet. I don't, that her children does not know what meat looks like. And she was like, maybe she doesn't like meat or something. And the cousin was like, oh, yeah, indeed. The what she was, she was noting was that the woman doesn't have money to buy meat. It doesn't mean, uh, that's why she uses, she uses stock fish, she's cooking, not because she likes stock fish. Oh, dear, indeed. And number 18, we have M.W. M.W. Do, M.W. Do. M.W. means monkey. It should be in my animals. M.W. means monkey. If you read the animals in the language, M.W. Monkey. Then you have number 19, you have Famakali. Famakali. Or Omakali. You know this Anambara. Two and one that so Anambara. So you'll be saying Ife, Ife, Fa, Fa, Fa. You like using those Fi, 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 Keda, Fagi. Then I'll sit in Keda, Hagi. Or they are using Keda, Fagi. So she's saying it in her own Anambara too. Afa. Famakali means they are better. Famakali, they are better. The number 20, that's the last. Ebukwala, Ebukwala means don't kill it. Ebukwala means don't kill it. So these are the 20 phrases from the second chapter. And this should be the last of it, the 20 phrases. Number one, you have Ijoma, safe journey, chere, wait. Chim, my God, be cool, please. Ezioku, true. Ifokwa, Ifokwa. Have you seen? Ezibo, good. Nne, mother. Jofuma, go well. Omalicha, beautiful. Ndibani, my people. Onagakwa, is it going well or is it working? One name, my sibling. Fourteen, Adani, our first daughter. Fifteen, Ara Makagi, you look good or you look well. Sixteen, Emakwa, do you know? Seventeen, Odebu, indeed. Eighteen, Enwe, Enwe means monkey. Nineteen, Famakale, means the abeta. 20, Ebu Kuala, don't kill it. That will be all, that will be all of our 40 phrases from, 40 Igbo phrases from Chimamanda Chase book, Half of the Igbo Song. So if you want me to do more, please just indicate in the comment section. I'll keep reading it, picking them out one by one and telling you what to me. And... That's 40 Igbo phrases from Chimamanda at J. Half of the Yellow Sun. So I will translate them to English to Igbo language and tell you what they mean. So that whenever you see those words again, you will know from there. You will learn how to speak the language very well. Thank you very much for your attention. Do have a nice day.